I'm going to show you how to achieve a really beautiful, easy, flawless foundation using a couple of brushes and a couple of products. It's a really simple thing to do. There's going to be no contouring and there's going to be no concealing. This is about achieving a quick, simple and very easy foundation at home. Now you're going to start on the forehead and you're going to move down the T-zone. Make sure you get into all the little nooks and crannies. And then what you're going to do is cut in under the eyes, like this, and then you're going to take the brush and go down and around the sides of the face. Now it's as simple as blending it all together. Now I'm using the Glinda Wand Foundation Brush number 2. This is fantastic to achieve this. The main reason for that, well there's two reasons to be honest. The first reason that it works so well is that it has unique specialty fibers that have been designed and developed to act, look and feel like natural fibers, but they're synthetic, which means that they're cruelty free and vegan, but they still move the product the way it should be and blend the product the way it should be blended. The other thing that's quite unique about this brush is its shape on the head. Now the head shape is quite unique. It finishes at a point too, so it makes it really easy to cut in, to add concealer, to add contouring if you do want to go down that path as well. So it's a very cleverly designed brush. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more product down the neck. This is really important. You want to make sure that when you're doing your foundation at home that you are putting a lot of enough product on the exposed skin because otherwise what can happen is you end up with that bit of a mask look and let's face it nobody likes that and it's sometimes really obvious. So once again, these bristles are made to blend the product beautifully. It also works with creams as well. So don't think if you've got a cream you can't use this brush. You absolutely can. So I've been blending this now for just a couple of minutes. And as you can see, it's looking really dewy and fresh. Now you may be sitting there thinking, can I use my fingers and can I use a sponge? I'm not going to lie to you, I don't like sponges. I find that, well, I feel that they can't be cleaned properly and that they can harbour bacteria. The other thing that I also don't like about sponges is they, they use a lot of product. Uh, so I find them in the long run to be quite expensive, especially if you're paying a lot of money for your favourite foundation. Your fingers are fine to use, they're fantastic. The only thing you must remember when you do use your fingers is that your fingers will melt the product more so than a foundation brush. So you're going to get a finer, less coverage with your fingers. But it does work, so you can use fingers if you want to. Okay, so this is lovely and dewy and I really like the coverage that I've got, but I'm going to be honest and say I do like to set my liquid foundations. The reason I do that is because I find I very rarely then have to touch it up during the day. So this is a, a second part of the program, if you like, if you wish to set your powder. Now I'm using the Glinda Wand number three. I'm using a translucent powder. This is fantastic and once again it's a very unique shape with those specialty fibers. What that allows you to do is get into all the little nooks and crannies, all the little areas that a large powder brush can't get into so it can set your makeup much better than a regular large powder brush. I am going to use a large powder brush as well but I really like this one. This also multitasks is a great brush to put on your cheek color it makes a beautiful eye wash applicator and you can also do contouring with this one as well so it's a very clever little universal brush universal powder brush number three Glinda Wand I'm going to finish with my large powder brush by Glinda Wand this is the number one brush I love this brush I really feel like a movie star when I use it and the truth of the matter is it is setting the powder perfectly so you'll find that you won't need to retouch or reapply your foundation after you've used this. This brush also works magically as a with a bronzing powder and it also works well as a cheek. So you can really multitask with this brush as well. This is a flawless foundation. As you can see, I won't need to reapply this or touch it up again today. It's lovely, it's fresh, it's dewy, it's simple and you can achieve this at home in just a couple of minutes.